Welcome to another episode of Magecast.io. During this lesson, we will learn what BHAT is and set the foundations so that you feel comfortable using BHAT, ready for when we jump into Magento. So, what is BHAT? BHAT, in its basic form, takes feature context files written in Gherkin mm. and executes them against the domain that you specify. In our example, we will show Selenium and the web browser, but the same can work for CLI scripts or APIs. Feature files are processed via feature contexts, so how you implement them is up to you. BHAT just provides a nice interface around it all. But let's start by saying that BHAT is just a tool within the bigger BDD suite. Yes, it's great that we can automate the process of testing this in a browser, but we should never lose track and think that we can ignore communication with people. We should always favor conversation over automation. So what do we need? Well, let's start by identifying the problem we want to test. For this example, we'll search Wikipedia for the string behavior-driven development. We'll then check that the first H1 tag is behavior-driven development. There's nothing overly complex, but by introducing the concepts now, such as BHAT, feature contexts, Selenium, and raw mint context, it will make our journey into BDD with Magento a lot easier. We start by creating a composer.json file in the roots of our project where we require bhat, mink, the mink extension, the mink goat driver, the selenium2 driver, the web driver manager, which is a nice manager for managing selenium versions, and an assertion library called expect. We then configure all of the binaries to be placed inside of the root directory's bin folder. This is mainly convenience so that we can just run slash bin bh bspec or bhat. A little bit easier for me and even though I do have aliases. Next up, we want to swap to our terminal and run composer update or install. Install for new projects update for existing. If you haven't got composer installed now, I expect you to go to compo getcomposer.org and ensure that you've got the latest version downloaded, installed, ready to follow along. Now that we can, now we've got Selenium, we can now test that we can run manager. So bin slash manager update or pull down the latest versions of Selenium and Chrome driver just to make sure that they're on our system ready for when we start running our BHAT tests. So now if we run B, B, bin manager, we can see all the commands that are available. Bin manager status will tell us if we need to download Selenium and Chrome driver or not. So back to our, our IDE. Now we've configured BHAT we now need to create a bhat.yaml file. This will configure how bhat runs. I've already created a bhat.yaml, but if you follow along by creating default, which is the default options, we know that we need some extensions. So default extensions, and we've already specified that we want the mink extension. So bhat mink extension takes base URL. Base URL in this case is wikipedia.org. We need to define our session driver, which is default, and we want to use Selenium too. We also pass to Selenium to the web driver host, but don't worry, we'll see what that is in a couple of seconds time. So back to our command line, we now need to initialize bhat. So running bhat in it will create some folders for us and initialize bhat. You can see it said it's created feature folder, feature bootstrap and a feature context file. So features bootstrap is a folder. Inside of there, we've got bootstrap folder and a feature context. The feature context at the minute is just a placeholder for where our feature context definitions are actually gonna live. So let's create a new file called search.feature, all files end.feature. And here's where we wanna actually define the behavior that we're trying to test. You notice we use the word behavior. So we create a placeholder of feature, search Wikipedia, and we say what we actually wanna do as a user. So in order to learn about BDD, as a passionate developer, what do we want to do? I need to be able to see, to search a general internet site. So now we get to our scenarios. Scenarios are all actually get executed and we're going to create the scenario header. So search for BDD. So given's important. Given I am on Wikipedia, when I do something, so when I search for the string behavior driven development, then the outcome. I should, what should I see? No, so back to what we've defined. So the first heading should be 
and again into a string of quotes, behavior driven development. So given is set in the scene, when I do something, then this is the expected outcome. So back to the command line, this time when we run bhat, it's going to find all of our feature file, our feature file and step definitions and tell us that we need to do something. So running append snippets actually adds them to our feature context. If we open up feature context again, we can now see that we've got all boilerplate code. So we want to use the bhat mink extension context and the raw mink context. This will add some general abstraction that we can use and we extend from the raw mink context that we can use the new feature methods. So we get rid of the construct because we're not going to need it. So what do we do? So I am in Wikipedia so we can use this visit path which is from the raw mink context and do slash. Now what we need to do is run our Selenium 2 web driver host. So we run manager start. We can see that this is actually going to start Selenium 2 for us on the command line. So if we go back to our other tab and we run bin bhat this time, it's taking a little bit more time and you can see that Firefox gets loaded. And this time, visit path is actually prepended wikipedia.org to the beginning. So it's visited path slash, which is great. Now when I search for string, so let's change the string in the comment and also the variable name. We do this, get session gets us the current session and get page gets us the HTML representation of the page. We want to find inside of the page using, ah no we don't, we want to fill the field. So fill field CSS, so the CSS is our selector using the dot search string selector. So we want to fill in the search box which is in the top right hand side of the page. And we say we want to fill field search input with the search string. Then again, we're going to get the session, get the page object. And this time we're going to find the CSS selector, which is going to be the button. So it's going to be search button. Now we want to call the click method on it to actually represent a click. So we run bhat. We can see now that Firefox is loaded at the home page. And we can see the search field completed with the string that we specified and the button was clicked. So now we're on to our outcome. So again we're going to change the variable name. This is important because it's named variables so we can change both of them so that they both align correctly. Now what do we want to do? What do we want to check? So let's grab the page heading in a variable and we can find it on the page again so we'll get session which is from raw mint context we'll call get page on it. We'll find the CSS and we know that the first heading has got a CSS class of first heading applied to it and now we use the assertion library expect so we'll expect the page heading and we'll get the actual text node from the DOM to be and it's the page heading. Now running bhat this time we can see it's gone to the home page we can see that it's searched for the string and we can see that the page has been loaded and bhat's given us a full green sweep for a full scenario so it's gone to the page using the given so given we've set the state up when we do something we perform an action on the page then the heading should be so our assertion is actually true as you can see when we run bhat now all of our steps are passing. So we know we can run this feature again and again and have confidence that the first heading will always be what we expect. So during this video, we covered the basics of bhat, how to install and use Selenium, where Mink fits into this, how to configure bhat and create feature code generation, as well as an overview of the expect assertion library. The purpose of this video was not to make you a master of bhat and functional testing. In the next episodes, we'll look at how we can use BHAT within the Magento framework and it's important to have a grounded knowledge first before we jump into Magento and BHAT Mage.